Hi, this is Monique. Welcome to my channel. I do YouTube videos three times a week and they're usually tech reviews or how-to videos. So if you like this channel, please keep watching. Today, I'm going to go over this Sony wireless speaker extra bass and it's supposed to be waterproof, but we're gonna go through the specs for this speaker, we're gonna unbox it, and we're gonna see how it works, and I'll talk about the price. So, like I said, keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to try to unbox it. It doesn't look like it's too difficult, but this is a wireless speaker. It uses Bluetooth as well. Apparently it is like uh, waterproof too, so like you can take it into your bathroom and it has a long battery life. It says it has like something that changes the color of it too. This is blue, it came in black as well at the store, but apparently it's something that uh, you can like change the settings of it, the color for like a party booster kind of effect. And there's an app that it works with too. So we'll see if uh, the app works, but um, it says it has live sound, it's salt, it's salt water resistant as well and there's like a speakerphone or something like that and you can charge it it's for like you can charge it with usb it's for iphone and ipod it says on the back too so we shall see oh my god there's no tape or anything on it that's the first time i've ever seen something that had no tape on it or anything oh i hope i don't have to put batteries or anything like that in it looks pretty good so far, I had my scissors ready. It says, um, there's a QR code in it for other help and blah, 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 blah. Oh, so you just have to open the back cap for the QR code. Ooh, look at that. That's what it looks like. So it doesn't look too difficult. It looks like I can just reach in and grab it. Wow, it's kind of like a remote control or like a Wii. Can you imagine? Let me play. I'm sorry, I shouldn't I shouldn't laugh at it. It looks pretty cool. So what else is in here? So looks like that's the whole box. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like there's a quick user guide from Sony. No actual writing on it. It says you should get a reference guide, this guide, the actual thing, and like a USB charger. That's what it shows. Now it has a USB um, cable that you plug in so you can charge it or start it up. I might just like plug it into my computer because I don't want to go through the fuss of trying to find like some sort of, you know, wall charger or anything like that. Okay, but here it is. Actually, it looks kind of funny. I got it in the bag and I, it looks kind of funny to me. I don't know, maybe I'll take a picture of it afterwards. It actually looks pretty cool. I shouldn't say it looks funny, but it's like rubber on top. Like this whole part is like soft rubber and like the keys at the top there are like rubber too and the sides. So the only part that's like metal feeling is here and it doesn't even feel like metal. It feels like fabric is in it and it's like plastic. So I understand that it's probably supposed to be waterproof, but yeah, I see now. There's a Sony logo on the back, so I like this. This is something that I can pick up. It doesn't really look like a speaker. It kind of looks like a water jug, <laughs> you know? It looks like the same size as my water mug. Look, it is. That's funny. I am not crazy. Okay, so I am going to figure out how to actually use this thing in a minute, and then I'll come back. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna try to work this thing. I've got it here on the table. So I, there's one thing that I just don't like being somebody with like long fingernails is having to dig out stuff. But you have to like dig out this little door on the back. It's plastic and that's where you go and put your USB cable to charge it. I'm gonna like plug it into my computer and see if that, you know, Okay, nothing lights up yet. So does it, uh, there's a little red button on the back there. I can't believe you have to charge it for four hours before using it. So that's another thing that's a little shocking. The last one that we did, it was like, you had to charge it for an hour before it would actually work. So I'm gonna try it anyways. 
uh, to use it without having to charge it for an hour because I think that's ridiculous. I'm trying to pair this thing with Bluetooth right now. That's what it looks like with the light on. And then I don't know if you can see really close there, but like the on button is flashing and the Bluetooth button's flashing. So one thing that was a little bit difficult was that I had to go into the settings on my computer for Bluetooth and I had to look up the actual device and then click on pair and like press down on this. So it's like flashing. I don't think it's fully paired, but when I press the pair button on the machine, it said Bluetooth pairing or something like that. So I'll try to do it again. Let's turn it on. Is it working? It doesn't say that it's paired though. So right now I'm trying to pair it to my computer, not to my phone, but it looks like you can pair it to your phone and answer phone calls through the speaker. So let's see. Battery fully charged. Yeah, it says it's fully charged, so it's working. Hmm. Really strange. Success! So finally it's working. Um, it is paired with my computer. It's taking a really long time to pair to my cell phone and I followed all the instructions. So basically I can use this to um, play, rewind, stop and everything, the music on my computer. So if I go here, I'm going to play some classical music. Success! So it finally did pair. So what you have to do basically is if it you're using your computer and you're using your cell phone at the same time, you have to pair it and like the little note will come on when you pair it, you turn it on and then it uh, will go to like the nearest thing, so like your computer. So it just turned on, it made the little tone sound, but then you have to like turn off the connection on your computer and then turn on the one on your phone. So it should still be paired to my phone. Today at Best Buy, it's actually a charging dock, but it's for multiple devices at one time. So if you check out one of my other videos, I did a video. Okay, so that was one of my YouTube videos. That was me just talking about what was happening in my YouTube video and you saw the light pulse for like when bass comes on your videos. So I thought that was really awesome. So it does look cool and it would look really cool if it's like really dim in your room and everything and you've got like pulsing light or if you got the black one or multitude of other colors, chains of them. So you can Bluetooth pair this to other speakers. So say you have like a speaker on the left, speaker on the right of your TV, and then one in the center, it could be like surround sound. Um, but it does sound really good, actually. I was very surprised. And you could feel the vibration of the music inside of the speaker when I was holding it. So this is really awesome. This would be a great gift, I think. And I'm going to put the price for the speaker in the description of this video as well. Um, if you don't like this product or if you have some other comments about this product or if you used it before, uh, please leave a comment below as well. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep watching for the next one.